Pokemon I Choose You is the 20th Pokemon movie, and this was showing one night only in theatres, and this was to collaborate with the main Pokemon anime, which is his 20th anniversary. Now, this is basically a retelling off of Ash's journey for becoming a Pokemon master. You have old aspects, you have new aspects. Now, I'm a massive Pokemon fan, an old school, you would say. I grew up with the anime back in the 90s. I played the video games, I played the trading card games. I still collect the merchandise today with, like, T-shirts and soft toys. I even have a Pikachu mug. Now going to see this film, I was surprised how packed it was. You have children who enjoy Pokemon, and then you've got like the older fans who are like hardcore old school fans who grew up with Pokemon, and that was awesome because there were some pure laugh out loud nerdy moments if you're a Pokemon fan. And as soon as the Pokemon theme came, the original one, the whole crowd started singing it, and that was just pretty awesome. Now, judging on the film itself, it was interesting. It's not the best Pokemon movie to me. I think I still prefer, like, the first five since they're very nostalgic. But it has some really cool concepts. It starts with, like, Ash gets to see Ho-Ho, the legendary Pokemon. He becomes the rainbow hero. He has to go on the quest to find Ho-Ho and battle it. That was so cool because that was something that the anime abandoned until they get it now since... And that was the best way to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Go back to the basics. Go back to the first episode and grow on that. I liked it how they introduced the new characters and I liked it how they didn't forget the old characters from the past 20 years if you watch the credits. The animation is probably the best we've seen ever in Pokemon. The Pokemon battles are amazing. They remind me so much of that anime that came out five years ago, Pokemon Origins. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen Pokemon Origins, it's like one of the best pieces of anime. And it's only four episodes long so it'll only take you about like an hour. The film had some really touching moments like when Luxray dies and it had this dream sequence where Ash wakes up a world without Pokemon. I was like, oh my god, that would be shit. They do rehash stuff from the anime, but it's not on the same level. I mean, I cried when Butterfree left the anime and that one scene when Pikachu talks, the whole crowd was just like, whoa, oh my god, what the hell is going on? I mean, they should have done that, really. It was so cringe. So overall, Pokemon I Choose You isn't really a good movie for the genuine audience. It's a great movie for any Pokemon fan. It's a genuine nostalgic trip for me. It reminded me when the first Pokemon movie came out back in 1998. It was one of my favourite childhood movies, and I'm definitely going to pick up Pokemon I Choose You when it comes out on Blu-ray. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what did you think of Pokemon I Choose You, and what is your favourite Pokemon movie? Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram page. Now, I really want to give you one more treat before I go. So turned on right now. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. It's Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them, it's you and me. I know it's my destiny, Pokemon. Oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. Pokemon, gotta catch them, my heart's so true. My courage will pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. Pokemon, gotta catch them all.